In this video we're going to be catching up with the Brooks Hyperion. I'm going to be telling you the things I've liked and things I've not liked about it since our last video on the show. What is up everybody and welcome to our quick performance review of the Brooks Hyperion, which is the Hyperion Tempo 2, but we're not allowed to use the Tempo 2 bit. This is the Hyperion, but it is the Tempo 2. That make any sense? Right. <laughs> anyway, stick with me. Um, so look, I usually do these uh, reviews after about 50 miles or like we've had them a few months. Uh, quick spoiler, I've not done 50 miles in the shoe, uh, basically because I've been using the shoe for speed sessions, for workouts, for faster pace, uh, like club sessions and things like that. And I simply just don't put those sort of miles uh, into those sessions, right? So uh, full transparency is always on this channel. I've been using this and the Hyperion GTS as well, uh, which uh, we've got videos on, so make sure you check that out. But I've been using these shoes for those faster workouts because they're light and they're fast. Now, Brooks did send me this shoe and, and the Hyperion GTS uh, for the purpose of review, but I'm not getting compensated for them, uh, the, for these videos, and um, they don't really care what I say, and I'm always gonna say what I want anyway on this channel, so whatever. Okay, so like I said, yeah, this has been a shoe that I've been using for those fast workouts, which is what it's here for. Uh, we've got the same Hyperion DNA flash in the shoe so like here down is the same effectively as the previous version but they've reworked the upper i think it looks awesome uh it fits true to size it's 140 pounds from memory it's about eight ounces um we don't have a carbon plate in here we've got a really good rubber outsole which has been fantastic by the way especially in the wetter weather uh breathable upper and it, the lockdown's great i really like the laces on the shoe don't have no we don't have a gusseted tongue it locks down through this loop here which is okay plenty of foam uh for a sort of uh racier shoe um, but yeah the, that's the sort of basics in terms of stats and features. The DNA flash, just as a heads up, is firm, but it does soften up. So bear with the shoe because it does come towards you. But there's an ultimate feeling of lightness and speed from this shoe, which I think's um, relatively unmatched because of the firm ride in the shoe. I think the only thing I've got that's close to it is the Kinvara uh, in terms of uh, what you get from the shoe. But this has got a, a lower stack in it and it just feels that much more ground connected and and yeah, old school sort of up-tempo running shoe. I mean, if you think about it, these are the shoes you used to like run races in and stuff. So like with these sort of lower stack heights and, and no plates and all this sort of stuff. I mean, this is a great shoe, for example, if you wanted to go and do a track session, track workout. This shoe, 100%. You could do that in. I'd recommend you do it, you know. Again, this is this is that shoe that you put into your rotation for those faster workouts, those club sessions, those fartlek, those intervals, those hill sprints, those track sessions. This is the shoe to strap on. It's lightweight, but it's it is versatile in the fact that you know you can do the road work in it as well. And that's the great thing about it. So look, I don't want to make this video any longer than it needs to be. The Brooks Hyperion continues from the Hyperion tempo, right? It's a great shoe for those faster workouts if you like a firmer ride you can use this for daily miles as well it's lower stack it's low to the ground it's natural feeling but it's light and it's quick it's a great shoe to have in your rotation is this a shoe that you can just buy one of and don't need anything else i don't necessarily think that's true i think this would work well with like another daily trainer and if you're conscious of money like maybe an, a reebok energy float by five and then you buy this for your um faster work or like you know you get the ghost and then you stick this on as your faster uh, workout shoe but this just complements anything that you've got i really do think that especially the fact it hasn't got a plate as well i think it's a positive for the shoe so yeah i can't recommend this shoe enough i think this is fantastic i think it looks great it feels great it is firm it does soften up but it's light and it's quick and that's all you want from the hyperion shoe so well done brooks this is a winner 